Hi guys, I'm Tiza. I'm Lisa. Iman here. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Isa, why do we need to construct this? Is this due to slope failure? Well, you know, there's a few types of slope failure like translational slide, rotational slide, rock fall, and etc. Actually, there's a few types of slope stability in order to overcome the slope failure. For example, we do have a gabion wall, RC wall, creep wall, and one of these is sonelis. The objective of this is in order to increase the stability of the slope and to minimize the risk of the slope failure. There are five methods to be done for constructing a tiny wall. The first one is we can study the landslide uh, forensic statistic. The second one is we adapted factor of safety from international such as Geo Hong Kong and British standards. The third one is we study the existing topography and the fourth one is we study the SI requirements and the last one is we review of historical data. So for our project assignment group, we had choose one of the type of retaining wall that is soinally. So we decided to make a visit to uh, undergoing construction of soinally at uh, Bukit Amansara near to in Temple Dean and Institute Takbir Awam Negara. Okay, for this soinally project, the client was KMB, Naga National Berhad. So this soinally project, this soinally uh, actually we consulted because we want to protect the TNB substation 132 kV and also to protect the transmission line, transmission tower uh, at the upper part of the slot, at the, at the upper part of the uh, slope. So uh, because of the previous uh, uh, failure, so the geotechnical, geotechnical engineer decided to design the soinelling. And this soinelling used uh, Y20 at the iron steel bar, the governance iron, and also construct some horizontal drain. And uh, because of the safety factor, we are not allowed to take the video with us. So we just take uh, video the soinelling process. So let's enjoy the video. <laughs> 